Hello, welcome back to another Chris G video right here. And today we have an art quickie. So this is gonna be really quick. So stay with me. Today, I'm gonna be showing you all how to expand the amount of colors you can put inside of your pocket palette box, okay? Most of the time, these type of boxes, these small uh, size boxes are advertised with 12 colors. You can put a lot more than 12 colors inside of these boxes if you know how to do it. So first example is this style of box, which is, uh, this is the Prima color, I mean a Prima, yeah, a Prima marketing uh, tropicals box. But this style of box is a general design that can be found uh, empty in other places. Usually this box, uh, it's set up a little different than the Schminky, but we'll get to that in a minute. So with this size box, uh, this is it from inside of the Schminky. The rows inside of these type of boxes for your, uh, for your half pans or your pans to go in is more separated. It's pushed towards the ends of the box. Unlike what goes inside of the Schminky, there is a smaller gap in the center and there's more space on the outside. Okay, so the rows are a little closer together on the sminky. But on the uh, on this type of box, the rows are more separated and the box is also uh, a little shorter in length than this box. So what you can do to expand this type of box is first, you see this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors across the top out your tray okay right here as you can see uh, these boxes have a lip on the edge of the uh, on the edge of the tray unlike the schminky box there's no lip and you can also do the same technique with the schminky uh, or this type of box not just the schminky box but this type of uh, travel box all you have to do for this one is and this can expand your palette from 12 colors to 14 colors it's the easiest way to expand it all you have is uh, usually have six across the top six across the bottom for this all you have to do is push all of the colors to one side and then take your seventh pan and squeeze it into the edge of the box Kind of hard to do with one hand. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Look at that. So you just push it into the edge of the box. And uh, that's how you can get seven across. You do this again on the bottom. And there you go. You have 14 colors inside of this box. And it's even easier to do with this style of tray. All you have to do is just push the colors down and it'll easily snap in. It's a little easier with this type of uh, this type of tray for your colors. Uh, another good thing about this type, the type that would go inside of the uh, Prima Marketing type style box, is because the rows are more separated in this type of box, you can actually take pans and they fit right inside of the gap. See that? So, uh, let's see, hypothetically, this is a full pan, so this is two. One, two, three, four, five, maybe about seven more colors can fit into this open area. So you can take a 12 color box up to 21 colors that easily by just adding an extra row. What I would advise is that you use some type of uh, adhesive or a magnet to go on the bottom of your pan so that the pan will stay in place uh, when you're moving around with it. Because if you don't, they will fall out. So that's how you expand this box. Uh, you cannot put colors in this space because that space is too small. Again, like I said, the rows on this type of box are more separated and the rows on this type of box are a little closer together. 
But one thing you can do with this style of box that you can't do with that style of box is place pans directly inside of the box. Actually, I ran out of pans. I really didn't have enough. If I had half pans, it could completely fill the box with no spaces. But I ran out of half pans to use, and I didn't feel like taking these out. But you can get, uh, let's see, if this is 3, 6, 12, 18, maybe about 24 colors if they're half pans inside of this case. And what you do is you take the tray out and you just put the pans directly onto the surface of the uh, inside of the, the box. You cannot do it with this style of box because of these lips. You see where there's the up and down areas of the box. The pans do not sit flat in this box and they'll, uh, they just don't sit flat. So that's one thing you can't do with that box, but you can do with this one. So you, all you have to do is, again, just lay the pans directly inside. Same as the over here, I advise that you put some type of adhesive on the back of your pan so that they stick inside of your box and they do not fall out. But that's how you do it. And then you can expand this box from, again, 12 colors as advertised up to 24 of your choice. So if you like a lot of colors, this is how you expand your small pocket box and you can still put this box in your pocket and still travel with it but you can carry just as many colors as you would inside of a larger box like this this is not easy to carry around these are very easy to carry around and you can put just as many colors inside if you have the right information on how to do it so i hope this helped you out uh, this was my quickie video for uh, this week. Please stay tuned. We'll have another art quickie video coming up next week. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments about expanding your pocket palette box, please drop them down below. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more art quickies. Peace.